Coming up ahead in this episode of X Talk Spotlight. Well, there are many opinions on this topic. So important is to gather data and measure efficiency and true productivity gains. Are you seeing improvements by using AI for that first draft? And if you can start to quantify that, that will be another metrics that you can have to really know, is this working or not? Hello, and welcome to X Talk Spotlight, illuminating insights from subject matter experts and industry thought leaders. I'm Sonia Hunt. In this episode, we're wondering, the Beatles revolutionized the music industry by using recording studios. Will AI revolutionize the medical writing industry next? Artificial intelligence is a hot button topic that appears to be here to stay, as it continues to change the game across multiple industries. And when it comes to medical writing in particular, we think it's worth a deep dive to discover what new advances AI might bring. In this X Talk Spotlight edition, I sat down with Maria Hofgarten, head of global medical writing at the PPT clinical research business of Thermo Fisher Scientific, to learn more about how human and artificial intelligence can best collaborate with each other. We also touched on risk mitigation, performance measurements, and future trends in medical writing. Thank you for taking the time for this Spotlight interview, Maria. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here with X Talks today. So to start us off, how do you see humans and artificial intelligence working together? In other words, where do the synergies lie? That is a good question. Um, the way we think about it is in a hierarchical structure where humans and AI continue to interact with each other. And at the top of that hierarchy is always the human making final executive decisions. And by allowing this structure, AI will continue to learn from medical writers and you create a reiterative learning process. And there are three important aspects of the role of the medical writers in an AI-assisted medical writing environment, and I would like to touch on all three. So the first one is uh, the medical writer is the ultimate owner of quality, really owning the accuracy, the style, and the regulatory guidelines compliance of any written document. And they also play an important role in designing the quality process when you inject AI into medical writing. The other aspect is oversight. Um, today, uh, processes and oversight is created by humans for humans. And we need to rethink this a little to not minimize the benefits of AI. And some processes need to be more amenable for AI. So we'll dive a little bit deeper into that as well. And then lastly, AI will continue to learn from medical writers by training and correcting the AI output in the review and quality steps of the process. So let's first talk about the medical writers owning the quality. So they are acting as quality controllers to verify the clinical relevance and regulatory compliance of AI outputs. The other unique role is to provide contextual judgment, especially where nuanced clinical understanding is required, like in patient narratives or interpreting complex medical data. And then lastly, serving as final approvals, approvers, ensuring that content meets ethical standards, reflects on patient safety priorities, and aligns with regulatory guidelines. 
So as the ultimate owners of quality in this hierarchy, uh, they also own creating the quality assurance processes when you inject AI into the process. And this could look in a few different ways. Um, you could implement multi-layered verification where initial AI outputs are validated by secondary algorithms designed to catch common issues. And then, you know, there will be some sort of checklist for the human validation. And here again, where are you going to focus that human validation? So you want to focus on critical accuracy factors such as medical claims, clinical endpoints, and patient safety information. Uh, you can also look at automated error detection tools that would flag outliers, ambiguous terms, or suspect data for additional review. So that is truly the quality piece. Um, and then where the medical writers will also play a critical part together with AI is in the oversight. Um, we have already established you will need the human oversight, but you need to do that so you don't sacrifice the benefits of AI. And some of the protocols that uh, we're considering is automated review checkpoints where only specific aspects of the document is reviewed. So you really, really focus your review, uh, the human review, and that would be around accuracy, readability, and regulatory guidelines. Another thing is a tiered review levels based on document type and level of complexity because the document types will have, some will be an easier structure than others. And depending on that and the complexity, you can also decide what kind of level of oversight and review is needed. And then very important is to decide on a structure around the feedback loops for human reviewers to flag recurring AI errors. And you can come up with a rating system that truly focuses on accuracy, readability, and regulatory guidelines. And then you really know where you might need to correct the AI so you don't have repeated errors over and over again. And that sort of takes us into the last piece of the medical writer's role, which is truly training the AI tools. Um, and the focus here is on medical terminology. So, you know, you can really look at improving the AI by, you know, injecting specific repository of medical terminology. And in that way, you are training the AI specifically for terminology across therapeutic areas and rare disease nuances. Uh, another way to do this is to use domain-specific models that are continually updated with new research and terminologies, especially for evolving fields like oncology or gene therapy. And then the human in the loop approaches where the expert medical writers review the AI outputs and by correcting uh, the final output, you will inject that into AI again so you do not have repeated errors over and over again. Now, can we also dive into some of the potential risks and how you're tackling them in medical writing? Well, thanks for bringing this up, since risk mitigation is a key integral part of final quality, and this is also a common concern with AI-assisted medical writing, and the primary risks include data privacy breaches, accuracy lapses, 
and lack of transparency in AI decisions. So risk mitigation for AI is therefore key in handling sensitive medical information. And so mitigation strategies involve, for example, data privacy safeguards, such as anonymization of protocols or encrypted handling of any patient-related information within AI workflows. Um, another item is risk-based content review processes where AI-generated documents with critical contents like adverse event summaries undergo a higher scrutiny. And then transparent AI models that provide explanations for outputs, especially where clinical or safety information is concerned to facilitate informed human oversight. And in your opinion, is AI only a buzzword or is it truly driving efficiency and productivity in medical writing? Well, there are many opinions on this topic. So important is to gather data and measure efficiency and true productivity gains. And to quantify AI's impact on efficiency, consider time to completion metrics so you can compare what is the time to completion when you are using AI as part of your process versus traditional writing processes. That would be a good way to measure the efficiency. And then looking at reduction in manual corrections after initial AI drafts. Are you seeing improvements by using AI for that first draft? And if you can start to quantify that, that would be another metrics that you can have to really know, is this working or not? Another important one is cost per document metrics. Uh, can you also see reduced labor and time cost? And then important from a quality perspective uh, are reviewer feedback scores to really assess the quality of the document. And we were talking about ratings around accuracy, readability, uh, compliance with regulatory guidelines. So if you can put that in place, like a quality framework, that can also help you to measure the effectiveness of AI. Is it a buzzword or is it truly working for you? And then what I would recommend is a continuous evaluation framework. And you might want to include periodic performance audit to assess the AI accuracy in, in comparison to human written content and just see, you know, what are the differences if, if there are between the two processes. Definitely, you want to have an ongoing feedback loop with human reviewers to refine the AI model based on observed weaknesses. So that will also help you if you have that as part of your framework. And then, yes, you do need to establish your KPIs for the AI output. And, you know, sometimes I also get resistance from my organization to put forward savings because, oh, but it's maybe not as much as we want to see, et cetera. But you need to have a baseline that you can start measuring from, and then you can sort of evaluate, do you have the right KPIs in place, and do they actually give you the benefits that you're expecting? So very important that all of that is in place. And lastly, how do you think medical writing will be impacted by future advancements in natural language processing? There will be advancements in natural language processing, and uh, they will likely look something like the following. Um, I believe that AI will enhance its ability to understand clinical context deeply. And that will make the outputs more accurate and relevant, especially in complex therapeutic areas. 
and also enabling multilingual support that could ease the creation of region-specific regulatory submission and, of course, for international clinical trial documents where you need translated versions of these documents. And then improve the language generation for nuanced sections like patient narratives or physician summaries where contextual awareness is crucial. There are also emerging AI technologies that could further transform medical writing. So explainable AI systems that provide insights into the decision-making processes, helping the medical writers to understand and evaluate the AI recommendations because they understand how did AI come to this uh, conclusion? And then contextual training that improves AI's ability to grasp medical context and intricate relationships in data, ensuring more accurate reporting of clinical findings. So AI is rapidly emerging with lots of possibilities in the future. Um, but there are still some limitations today and for the foreseeable future. So, you know, I still see that the human oversight is still necessary to interpret the data accurately and also to ensure the tone and context are appropriate for regulatory and clinical documents. And Great is that automation can streamline tasks, but I still see that medical writing will likely remain a human-centered profession for the foreseeable future, and we will use AI in the ways we have talked about today and really to assist the medical writing. Well, thank you very much, Maria, for speaking with us today. We really appreciate your time and insights. Thank you so much for having me today. This has been a pressure on my side. We look forward to hearing more about the impact of AI on medical writing. Thank you all for joining us for this X Talk Spotlight feature. We hope you enjoyed the discussion.